I'm Larry Lobel, registered piano technician, and I want to show you this wonderful tool for stringing pianos that um, I bought about 15 years ago, and I tried to figure out how to use it from the instruction sheet that came with it, which includes a diagram, and I wasn't able to do it. It was, I just couldn't get it and apparently I'm not the only one because other piano technicians on the Facebook PTI page have said the same thing but recently I was in a situation where I needed some help stringing and I remembered this tool and I found a YouTube video made by Val Angrosino that showed how to use it and along with his help and the instruction sheet I was able to figure out how to use it I did use it to string a piano and I'm a convert. This tool is amazing what it does. Um, so uh, if you're going to string a piano in the traditional way, uh, whether you're installing new tuning pins in the piano or you're going to use the existing pin, in either case you need to make a coil around the pin. So after you've uh, figured out, measured whatever method you use to measure the extra length of wire that you need beyond the pin so you have enough to make three coils and then you've cut off the wire so it's the correct length. Um, in either case you then need to make a coil around the tuning pin outside the piano and you would use a, a tuning pin crank to do that and wind the wire around the tuning pin two turns if it's a new pins going to the piano you would then insert the pin into the hole tap the pin down, almost all the way down, and then you would tighten up the coils using a coil lifter to make sure the coils are level and straight. If you're going to ins install the string on existing tuning pins that are already in the piano, this is a dummy pin that you use to make the coil, then you have to pull the becket out of the pin to get the coil off the dummy pin, put it onto the new pin, get the becket into the pin, into the hole in the tuning pin, and then once again using a coil lifter you would make the final tightening. So when you use the the Shortino tool performs all of those operations with just the one tool. It eliminates the need for these five tools and it eliminates a lot of time and a lot of stress on your fingers, your hands and other muscles and joints. So with the Shortino tool You've cut your wire to the proper length. You insert it into the hole in the tuning pin and it doesn't need to protrude out the other side or it can just a little bit, uh, but not too much because it'll interfere with this tool sitting down on the string. This tool has uh, a coil hook here and that is going to capture the string and hold hold it as you crank it around. So it has to be adjusted to the height where this uh, coil hook is going to be at the height of the hole in the tuning pin when you set the tool down onto the tuning pin. And I'll show you how to do that later, but for now uh, you put your wire into the hole, 
you're going to set the tool down with the, uh, assuming this is the front, the strings coming from the front of the piano, you'll set this down so that the coil hook is not yet touching or grabbing the string. And then just turn it slightly until the hook catches the string and grabs it and then you can't turn it anymore. This handle is not for winding the coil and it's only used to capture the string in the coil hook. Once you've done that, put your tuning hammer on and give it one, two and a half turns. Remove the tuning hammer, remove the coil maker, and there it is. You've got a perfect coil around your tuning pin. And then you can tighten it up in the usual way. I have found that it, it makes such a perfect coil that when you tighten it up, it automatically is level and the becket is already flush with the pin and there's no need to use a coil lifter or squeeze the becket. It's just perfect and consistent every time. And uh, it, it, I think it cuts the time in half. In another video, I will show um, more details about this tool and how to adjust it if necessary. It can be adjusted for um, different size pins, number two, three, and four size tuning pins. I'll do that in a separate video. So um, I hope you found this useful, and if you want to buy one of these tools, they are sold at Chaff Piano Supply.